Well, I know that all the arachnophobes have probably not even clicked on this video. What kind of spider are we talking about here? A big one. Ah! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Sting. Admittedly, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of movies that I have not seen this year, one of them being this movie about a giant spider. This one involving a rundown apartment, family in some form of turmoil, and spiders. But this one is a Australian-made one, if I'm correct, uh, directed by a gent by the name of Hi Roche Turner. Apologies if I've gotten that name wrong. It's a pretty simple concept, uh, if a bit absurd. Alien creature of some sort that looks exactly like a spider flies into this small apartment and this little girl finds it and thinks, oh, it's cute because this girl is basically a starter up sociopath. She puts it into this jar, calls it Sting and starts to care for it and think about, hey, you know, this thing can mimic my noises. You know, that's absolutely normal of any kind of insect or arachnid. No, no, not me. <laughs> you sure about that? All the while, there is an actual story going on with Ethan, who is sort of her stepdad, I guess you'd call her, or surrogate dad or whichever. He's trying to keep this building aloft while his girlfriend kind of gaslights him about certain things that are going on, as well as her aunt, who is an absolute cunt. What happened to it? Rats. Just a miserable bitch. All the while, you got some other tenants in this film. Then there's this also this Asian guy who's very, very weird and seems to initially have, hey, you know, there's probably some danger to having this kind of spider. And then he full on 180s and it kind of bites him in the ass so to speak. The spider slowly starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and obviously stuff starts to happen, attacks. Even though I'm not that scared of spiders, admittedly I've never touched a really big one, but the ones that are in the house, I'm like, hey, you know what? Hey, guy, uh, could you get out of here? This one got under my skin a little bit. There were certain parts I was like, dang, that's actually pretty spooky. And I think that's a good display of a mixture of CG and prosthetic. This is definitely one of those movies that really blends the two of them together. I don't think a rat's gonna do that. Plot is kind of, yeah, if you really think about it, but the overall horror of the film is good. It's getting under your skin, it gets you anxious. And that's something that I want from a horror movie. I don't want it to be entirely relying off of jump scares. This movie has a general tone of ew. Yes, there are some stupid, stupid things in this movie. While Ethan's having a very, very relatable breakdown, you've got the girl played by uh, Aliyah Brown Charlotte. Or she's very, very annoying, but eventually she does realize everything that's gone wrong because of her actions. And then there's a part where she's like, this is all my fault. And Ethan's like, no, 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 it's not. It's like, yes, yes, it absolutely is. And that's when this one gent who's an exterminator comes in after having been attacked by the giant spider. And he's basically like, yeah, this is all your fucking fault. And I like that that was there because he's basically the audience at that point. Does this film have some stupid stuff? Yes, it does. All horror movies of this kind of genre do, and this movie has its chalk full of it. There are some story writing parts that are just like, eh, that's kind of silly, or that's kind of happening for the sake of happening, or some general jokes that are like, uh, but again, there is enough horror in here and enough black comedy that would entertain someone for a general one watch. Ah! Oh! The film had a pretty good rating for me until the ending came about, and then it just started to fall into this, uh, okay, I guess you did that because you had to do that. Overall, Sting definitely gets some good scares in just through atmosphere and visual storytelling. The characters, aside from Ethan, are forgettable, uh, except for the cunt lady. Actually, she's pretty good. She's a vile bitch in this one. You don't feel bad at all for her. <laughs> The main girl, you're gonna get annoyed with her real quick. I understand an interest in bugs. I get that. But there is a difference between a interest in bugs and knowing that you have a very viable threat on your hand. Sting is a okay movie. It does what it needs to do, and it's a good one-time watch. But it's kind of forgettable, and honestly, despite the fact of how spooky it was for certain parts, 
there are a lot of groan inducing bits that are going to make me kind of forget about it but if you guys are still in that halloween feel i would suggest it it's a good little one-time watch so i'm going to give sting a three out of seven Anyways, those are my thoughts on the movie. What are your guys' thoughts? Have you seen this? What are your favorite spider-related movies? I'm kind of curious to see if Eight League Freaks comes up in the comments. But let me know, and uh, excited to hear what you guys have to say. Otherwise, guys, hope you're doing well. And yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of these videos, hopefully, hopefully, coming out in the next little while of me just trying to go over a bunch that I have not yet seen. But either way, you guys will be seeing videos from me soon, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys on the next one.